it's often either or or both. But um, I would say that one of the very disturbing trends of the last two or three decades is the decline of the principle of universal human rights and the rise of what's been called cultural relativism. So the idea that um, in other cultures, because of politics or religion, um, people should be left to suffer because it's their culture. Mm -hmm. So we often hear about the plight of women in Iran that, you know, Iran is a sovereign state. Um, you know, Iran is a state based on Shia Islam. Shia Islam has certain rules about women. Therefore, we shouldn't interfere. We shouldn't get involved. Now, I don't believe in interference, but it does shock me that every year, usually 50 to 100 very courageous Iranian women rally on International Women's Day outside Justice Square in Tehran, get beaten and arrested by the police, and Western leftists and feminists do not rally to their support. I find that shameful. You know, a few years ago, in one single night, 800 Iranian trade unionists were arrested by the regime, sent to prison and tortured, and we didn't hear a squeak out of the Labour Party or left-wing groups or the trade union movement or most of the trade union movement in this country. So I think this concept of universal rights is not firmly established and has been greatly under assault in, in recent times. Um, I mean, there's a question there of, you, you, I, I, you've put that very eloquently, but of course, um, sometimes the kind of thing you're protesting against is in the name of a kind of a, a relativism. Uh, to put it more positively, perhaps, some people would argue that, uh, you know, we have to be on our guard constantly about a kind of a, a moral imperialism, the imposing of values. And a lot of people would say that some, you know, liberal in interventionism, the kind of thing that's just got a bad name since the, the Iraq war is an example of actually what happens when you when you just sort of treat the whole world as though there were no distinction between the citizens of your country and the citizens of another actually it's a kind of a recipe for for disaster a lot of the time um, do, you, do you do you see the any force in that? yeah well I don't believe in the imposition of Western values or Western intervention but I do believe in supporting the many people in those countries who are struggling for those freedoms. So I support the Iranian trade unionists, the Iranian women's movement, the persecuted Kurds, Baluch, and Arab peoples of Iran. I support their struggle. So it's about solidarity with their fight, not about me seeking to impose my values on them.